Hello everybody, welcome back to the Goalie Be A Pro, where we are 5-2-0 to start year 4 after a disappointing playoff exit for the year 3, first time starting Timothy Jimothy. But for our first playoff run to make it past round 1, I'm not going to complain too much, I think that's pretty good. When looking at the lines, our team did get a little bit worse, I cannot lie, but I think we'll still be good. Hopefully. Otherwise, we'll get out of here. We are up to 85 overall now, and I don't know if I'll have any of the salary benefits just yet. Yeah, we probably can't afford too much right now, but I think I'm only one X Factor point away from unlocking another slot, which, I mean, we have abilities to go there. Montreal is currently 5-1-0, so let's go ahead and find out what happens in the simulation of this game and if it's worth jumping into or not. All right, that's a good start, and I love that. Yeah, you know what? Let's jump into this one. I don't know why. So assuming this team does remain good, we will be back to the playoffs in no time. The way that I've been doing the series is that it's three episodes of the season, and that would have been disgusting and a phenomenal way for us to start the actual in-game play <laughs> of year number four. Seeing teams have their real players is just so weird. Like Montreal has Suzuki, and I was just looking like, really? So you're just boring, you don't make any moves? Pretty weird how that works, you know? Some teams are trading left, right, and center. Every chance they get, the phone is picked up, and another maneuver is being agreed upon. But there's other teams that are like, nope, I like our team the way it is, it's staying put. Romanov goes in the middle to Suzuki, who shoots it low, that will be kicked aside. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. That was the worst decision of all time. Kind of hoping they take a penalty so I could get my team play back because after that, it's gonna be in the toilette and there is no questions asked. The coach is gonna be my biggest critic. And you know what? I don't blame him. I would be too. That was a moronic pass that should not have occurred, but it didn't result in a goal. And it's like the, what? Eighth season game? So it's not that big of a deal. You know, it's not like, Round one playoff overtime or anything. Send it down. Send it down. What are you guys doing? You're down by two goals and you're shorthanded. Send the puck down the ice. It's really that easy. And how do you not pick that puck up? I was going to say, because you didn't send it down, this is what's going to happen. But no. Nate Mack was like, oh, a puck. I don't know what to do. Finally. Give me that. And that will be a little helper in terms of that team play semicircle, but I don't think it's going to help that much. Actually, now that I'm really thinking about it, why do I give a crap about that anymore? It really does not matter at all in the grand scheme of things. They're not going to send me down to the AHL or whatever because I have bad team play. I mean, no, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it does not matter at all. Yeah, you know what? I don't care then. If we have bad team play, then so be it. But I... I'm not going to be phased by it anymore. I don't know how I just had that sudden realization. It was like my eyes finally just opened. I'm like, wait a minute. Why do I even care? In it goes. I am... Ah! I thought he was going to turn the other way. Ooh, got that pass off last second. Like, we really were living life on the edge right there. Hopefully it's not just this game, but the physicality appears to have returned. And... Oh, I, the camera did something weird. I thought the ref was calling it off. But no, that's a good goal. We are now up 4-1 to one from Liam. Fire me vertical. That is a great way to start our season. Well, I mean, technically, we already played seven games, but that's not really my fault. I did sim to next big event, and like I said, I thought that starting a new season is kind of a big event, but apparently, I was misguided. I know a lot of people want me to go for a goalie goal, but I don't really want to do the glitch one. Unless, you know, if we're up like 5-1 or something and it's not going to make a big difference, then I will certainly consider it. But if it's a somewhat close game, I'm not going to go for it. There's a save after a pass in the middle. We do have a penalty inbound. Another save? Get out of here. All right. Well, I guess we have a minute 17 left. So we're probably, hopefully, going to be shorthanded for the remainder of the game. Because that would mean I did not get scored on. I still really don't like the way the announcer says our team name. I don't like it at all. Another save. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to pass it out again. And we send it down the ice. Montreal should be taking notes. What's going on over here? What was that all about? 
I kind of want to see that in the replay because that was weird. So Wheeler and Dermot battling for it. And then we go behind, follows him. And then what happens here? <laughs> he actually just got stuck behind him. <laughs> That's amazing. Basically just out of the corner of my screen. I saw our player standing there and not doing anything. And I knew that Blake Wheeler was there somewhere. So I didn't know exactly what was going on, but that's amazing. And also, that's a big fat dub. A 32 save dub, nonetheless. That's gotta be, gotta be first star of the game. boy, Nate, that's crazy. Have your 15 minutes of fame or whatever it's called. But your boy, Timothy Jimothy is there to steal the spotlight. Our team play was actually better than our positioning. Interesting. I guess those few passes I made really impressed the coach. You know what? I'm going to start unlocking some of these. Just because I can. Diplomatic and we will get Charm 1. Both of them. We also apparently had a promise to win the next game. That was the next game. So Nate Mac should be pretty gassed about that one. Let's see what he has to say here. Yup. I sure did do my part. You are correct. Conversation with the coach. What's going on here? You Okay, I was gonna say, if this is anything negative, I'm leaving the team immediately. We're apparently on a five game winning streak, which is absolutely fire. And we have the Toronto Maple Leafs up next. They are four, five and oh, this should be an easy win. So we're gonna get rinsed. Nope. Ooh, this is a really close game. They have Montembeau in net. What on earth? Their team has been picked apart. The screen where it shows the X-Factors and abilities, they had Slavin, they had Jari, and I don't even remember who the other person was. Oh, it was Devin Taves. So, you know, like, they have good players, but there's no Marner, no Matthews, no who else would be there, I don't know. John Tavares, possibly. Morgan Riley, even. They do have Ehlers, which is kind of weird that he wasn't there. Let's go! The rebound is picked up right in the slot and sent home past Tristan Jari. That's a great way to start this third period. And Mark Stone is off to a stellar start this year. El Capitan. Boom. And he just picks that up with ease. The defense, what are you doing? If I was Jari, I'd be fuming. Oh wait, I don't think Jari's in net. What a hit. Because when we got the simulation goal, it was on Montembeau. However, I just looked down the ice and I think the jersey number changed? Never mind. I double checked and I'm just crazy. So, yeah, that's nothing that you guys didn't already know. Here comes Yarn Crook. He tries to cut in the middle, but a tremendous poke check from five will keep that attack from becoming anything serious. Let's go, Dylan. Look at this guy. He's an absolute icon out there right now. All right, all right. Short handed. That's okay. We can kill this off. I believe in the boys. And that is a phenomenal way to get started. And it's immediately ruined by a horrible defensive play. But okay. We got another face off. Reload the ting. Let's do it again. Nice. I tried to pass that out again. I don't know why I do this to myself. Also, Goudreau. We are struggling to get this puck out right now. A blocker save. It goes back to Sandine again, who goes to Ehlers. Another save. I probably could have smothered that, and I would have loved to have done so, but I feel like it didn't click in my brain for some reason to try. Finally, we sent it down the ice. This penalty kill has been miserable up until this point, so we finally got something going for us. Oh, the post, and then they almost scored on their own net. Montembeau with a very dramatic save, and he's still... Oh, never mind. I don't know what's going on with my brain today. It's just not working. I saw the blue goalie equipment. I was like, oh, he's still wearing his old team. Nope, I just changed the jersey. I'm just watching the replay here for science. So, Cop takes the shot, goes off of the right mini wheat, and then it meets Irene, and then Mantha almost stuffs it in the Maple Leafs net, but it doesn't go in. What a save. That's a big save for him to keep his team in it. But they did take a penalty as well. We're definitely in the... Oh, wait, no, we took a penalty. Well, we're back to the PK and save it, please. Nice. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. It's only a matter of time before they score, honestly, because the amount of chances they've had is, like, 
I feel like I haven't had this many chances in three games, let alone one. I know it's very early in the season, but with the way we are playing, all I'm saying is that the Vezda and the Jennings can't rule it out, can't rule it out. What a move! Shorthand, were we still shorthanded? Maybe not, might have been even strength, but Bordalo with a nasty deke on the breakaway. And hits the post, unfortunately, but I still rate it. That was sick. How the turn tables. It is now our turn to be on the man advantage. Let's see if we can capitalize, unlike Toronto. I don't know if you guys have seen or heard of that movie, The Man from Toronto. I think it's on Netflix or something. It's gotta be. It's definitely on some streaming platform anyway. <laughs> Everything is. But I watched the trailer for it and... That's how you know that they are not, in fact, from Toronto, because nobody says it like that. It is not Toronto. As much as you want it to be, it's Toronto. I don't even know how you would spell that. Like, it could be T-R-O-N-O, -O, Toronto, or it could even be like a C-H almost, like Toronto. <laughs> it's just, it depends, I guess, on how you pronounce it, but it is certainly not Toronto. Oh! That's a big hit. No one's gonna stand up for him, eh? All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's go. Montembeau, time to meet your maker. Let's go. Right now, you and me drop the mitts, and I have already won this fight. So you might as well just tap out while you can. Easy peasy. Oh, okay, trade-off there. But he's gonna go for a punch. He's gonna connect. And he's gonna... Hello? Don't you dare lose. Don't you dare lose. He's gonna throw one again. And I will connect. Okay, see you later. That was way too close for comfort. I feel like I've dropped two or three Benchwarmers references in this video, and I don't think anyone is going to get them. Leafs are certainly not going down without a fight. They're still getting tons of chances here in the final few minutes. And somehow, some way, we're keeping the puck out of the net. They're back at it, and we are going to clog up the middle. Great job. An empty net. Let's go. Oh, actually... This could be my chance. It really could. Never mind. Goche gonna steal the puck and bury it. That is a 3-0 lead. The game is over. But will the shutout occur is the real question. I'm having a lot of fun with the Be A Pro this year. I just feel like I'm not getting scored on every other shot like I have in every single year prior. I'm talking probably since NHL 14. <laughs> That feels like it's been the case, but not this year. This year's different. A casual first star again. 31 save shutout. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm actually not too familiar with hockey. Is a 31 save shutout any good? The Broad Street Bullies, 3-4-0. They are not off to a great start here. And let's make that worse. Oh, okay. 4-1 after one. We really are making that worse. Jeez. And a 31 save performance. From your boy. We want to get to roughly 29 games played, I think it is. Or 27, something like that. So I am going to simulate for the time being. Because obviously, we want to get through the season relatively quickly. And we're killing it. So there's no point of dragging it out. Unlock this answer by purchasing Intuition Level 1. So that top layer is... Level zero? Like, what are we on here? Okay, what's going on? We have lost four of the last five games. Thank you. So I just did an interview, and the reporter's like, oh, so you're planning to shut down, you know, this guy? Or not just this guy, but the whole team? Uh, yeah. That's kind of my plan. I don't want to just shut down one guy. I don't know what happened to us, but we just all of a sudden suck? Sounds like NHL. Hopefully we can turn that around here. We've got the Mount Real Kenegen. First period. Amazing. Amazing. Second period. Ah, uh, this one's not even worth jumping into. That was scary. The Rangers are 15-9-0. They have a 1-0 lead after one. This game is worth jumping into. So the Leafs had nobody from their former team, and then the Rangers still have Panarin, Zibanejad, Fox. I don't know if they have Shesterkin and Ned or not, but yeah, they still have... Really? Really? Well, that's not really an ideal way to start this period. They have Shifley as well, which is quite interesting. But yeah, I don't think that was our game plan coming into this one. 
Oh, they have Mackenzie Blackwood. Okay, so they do not have Igor. Or at least I would think they don't. Because that would just be craziness. I guess that's what teams probably thought of us last year. Because our roster was outrageous. There's no way we should have been cap compliant. Nope! Not today. I saw that pass coming from about 2.3 miles away. You know what? I'm going to change that expression. Oh, I saw that coming from a mile away. You know what? I saw that coming from a kilometer away. How about that? Laffy Taffy goes in the middle. And the puck will go right through everybody. Lindgren has it. Oh my word. Smother it. I was pressing the button. That time I actually pressed it. And Timothy Jimothy just simply did not act. What a horrible shot that was. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you love to see it. Mika Zabenejad. He really thought... We need to do something here, though, guys. Like, it's, it's getting out of control. We are being dominated. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I got it. No worries here. Send that around to Stone, who actually manages to get past his guy. I thought he was about to get rocked or just have his pocket picked, and it would have stayed in our zone. But no, he did it. He actually got past him. Come on. Nice. Getting some shots off here. But McKenzie doing a good job keeping his team in the lead, unfortunately. Laugh is back on the attack. Oh, wow. That was a weird hit. Tries to pass it in the middle, but no can do. Lindgren can, though. Where is it? I do not like this at all. <laughs> Whenever it's in those scrums, I just panic. I don't even really mean to, but it just scares me when the puck is bouncing around everywhere. Which also, I can't move as fast as the puck. My reaction time is not that good. Yeah, I know. That's crazy, right? But it would be a lot better if I just sat in one spot. So I should try to remember to do that in the future. All right, if we can get the puck down the ice, I'm going to try that whole skating to the bench, pulling yourself thing again, which I believe myth has been busted and I was being trolled or I just did it wrong. But last time I tried it, it did not work at all. Can we do something here, guys? Thank you. Uh, well... Maybe not that. My instructions were unclear, though. I said something, and to be fair, they did do something. All right, get me off the ice immediately. I'm at the bench. I'm here. It's not letting me off, so I'm going to say that nope, that is not going to work. Wow, so we took an L off of an early third period five-hole goal from, as I like to call him, Rickard Rackle. They did have 33 shots though, so two goals, not bad at all. We take that. We had a super hot start. I don't know what happened. And now we have the first place Columbus Blue Jackets to start the next video. I don't know how that's gonna go. At the moment, we are second in the Pacific Division, most likely because of our strong start. 15, 11, and two. The Edmonton Oilers are also 15, 11, and two, but somehow, oh, regulation plus over. How does that make sense? We also have the same amount of points as the San Jose Sharks, but they have three games at hand, so fair enough. For individual stats, Nate Mack, 31 points in 28 games, not a big deal. Stone's got 25. Pi Trangelo with 23. Let's go, Alex. Kopp's got 21. Eichel's only got 19, which is disappointing. I don't know what he's doing out there. He has the same amount as Julian Gauthier, who is a 81 overall fourth line forward. TJ's got a 12-8-1 record, three shutouts already, and a 9-22. And then Carell with a 5-3-1 record, no shutouts, but a 9-12, 2-68. He's doing all right. Well, hopefully we can get back to our early season antics and start winning some more hockey games here. We still have a decent record. We're still second in the division, so there's nothing to panic about, but... Yeah, sort of a big fall from grace still. I don't know what happened. The season is still young. We are a third of the way through it. So in the next one, we will get through two thirds. And at that point, we should really start to see the league shaping out and seeing where we will likely be finishing. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon.